Okay. Uh, Donald Trump has officially broken his silence on Matt Gates. Let's see. Embattled Congressman Matt Gates is now getting a boost from former President Trump, who just released a statement insisting they never discussed a preemptive pardon. Gates is fending off a federal sex trafficking investigation uh, and allegations. He had a fucking owned, fucking owned, boys. Absolutely owned. That is not looking good. It is not looking good for Matt Gates, dude. Change your subtitle language. Wait, what the fuck is it right now? It's English CC1. The fuck you mean? Sexual relationship with a 17 year old girl. CNN congressional correspondent Ryan Nobles has the latest. Tonight, embattled Congressman Matt Gates in search of support and getting a returned favor from the man he spent years defending and praising. President Trump sometimes raises his voice and a ruckus. He knows that's what it takes to raise an army of patriots who love America and will protect her. You got so fucked, bitch. Oh, that's so, that's so funny. Former that, like, President Donald Trump weighing in publicly for the first time on the scandal surrounding one of his most loyal allies on Capitol Hill. Trump responding to reports confirmed by CNN that the Florida congressman approached allies to the president requesting a preemptive blanket pardon for himself before Trump left the White House. Trump today denying Gates ever asked him personally for a pardon and then saying, quote, it must be remembered that he has totally denied the accusations against him. It is a horrible allegation and it is a... Listen, Tucker, if I can't be a libertarian and express my genuine political opinions by dating a 17-year-old potentially, allegedly, then what in goddamn America, Tucker? I mean, this is the most, this is the quintessential libertarian, American libertarian practice that you want to abolish? Tucker, might I also suggest that I am white? And uh, when brown people do it, of course, we are completely against it. But when a white person such as myself does it, Tucker, you should be rushing to my defense, as you have done in the past. Tucker Carlson's literally done that, by the way. He's literally done that. To like a white pedophile fucking Christian, I forget what the dude's name was, but he straight up defended uh, uh, someone who, who like was a cult leader back in the day. A lie. Saying, oh, he's just weird. Who was it? Does anyone remember? No, not Roy Moore. No, no, no. Roy Moore, of course. But this is worse, even worse than Roy Moore. Who the fuck was it? No, 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 no. This was a cult leader. This was a cult leader. It, it happened a while ago. I, I covered it. I wrote about it. I don't remember the name now. Fuck. David. No, it wasn't. It wasn't Koresh. Warren Jeffs, I think. Yeah, I think that it was. Warren Jeffs. Warren Jeffs. Warren Jeffs. Yes, 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 yes. Fucking business insider. Come on, business. You got no be you got no business being inside of me like this. In past segments, Tucker Carlson defended relations between teens, adults, and called out Samantha B for saying cunt. Uh, tapes of Fox News, Tucker Carlson degrading women, making blah 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 blah. blah. Where was it? Warren Jeffs. Yeah, this was polygamous sect leader Warren Jeffs. Um, Tucker Carlson defended him, saying he's just weird. I can't believe they're trying to arrest him for being weird. Something along those lines. Anyway. In his short time in Washington, the Florida congressman has gone out of his way. How did I get past the paywall so easily? How did I get past that? Hold on one second. So I'm a fucking hacker, bitch. It's called hacker man's. Yeah, exactly. I'm in.
I got through. <laughs> uh, I'm so stupid. I'm literally the stupidest person. Oh, yeah, here. This is how, dude. This is, wait, what the fuck? Where? This is how, dude. I was doing fucking Hacker Man shit. You see that? I'm literally inside the mainframe right now. Fuck, that was easy, boys. I rerouted the, uh... I rerouted the photogenic software back to, uh, CyberFrame. And, uh... And from that point on, it's easy peasy. You know what I mean? I just, uh, I just DDoS their, uh, mainframe. And, um... Hacked their, uh, API with my, uh, XY, uh... software. <laughs> you did that with only one person on the keyboard? You really are next level dank hacker mans? Yeah. Okay, Hossie, the alphabet soup of computer words. Dude, when I'm talking about computer shit, I literally sound like a fucking... A guy trying to LARP as a, as, a, as a person who knows what they're talking about at the mechanic. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I did the analytic carburetor and, uh, you know. Attach himself to Trump, as demonstrated in the 2020 HBO documentary, The Swamp. Hey, Mr. President, it's Matt Gates. I don't need anything, sir. Just calling to tell you, you did a great job today. Don't let these people get you down. I love that the first thing Donald Trump says... When Matt Gates is calling us, what do you want? What do you want? What are you, what is it now? We're going to keep fighting for you with all we got. Gates defending Trump, even when some Republicans were unwilling. My fellow patriots, don't be shy and don't be sorry. Join me as we proudly represent the pro-Trump America first wing of the conservative movement. Madam Speaker, Gates went to the House floor after the deadly insurrection and claimed without evidence that it was groups like Black Lives Matter and Antifa to blame for the violence, not Trump. This morning, President Trump explicitly called for demonstrations and protests to be peaceful. He was far more, you can moan and groan, but he was far more explicit about his calls for peace than some of the BLM and left-wing rioters were this summer when we saw motherfucker why are you asking me how i fucking went through the paywall when you can literally look at the video like just look at what i did i did it in front of your eyes and i did it very very slowly i moved my mouse cursor like just just look at the video and you'll find out a violent sweep across this nation during the former president's unless first the banner covered it gates in a group of good then at that point I think, my friend, you're going to have to do a... I think at that point, my friend, you're going to have to do a cybernetic curb carburetor. My secrets are my own. And no one else's. House Republicans busted into a secure meeting in an attempt to reveal classified information about the investigation into Trump's conduct. If behind those doors they intend to overturn the results of an American presidential election, we want to know what's going on. And it's only reasonable that we would have questions. He has also battled his fellow Republicans, those he deems not loyal. This is great because, like, it's a buildup. It's an intense buildup of like, uh, this is how much Matt Gates sucked Donald Trump's asshole, okay? Sucked the juices directly out of his asshole, uh, only to get uh, fucked in the end and, and uh, left out the dry. Loyal enough to the Trump it's MAGA great. movement. Gates traveled to Wyoming to attack fellow GOP representative Liz Cheney, who voted to impeach like the Trump is after intense. the insurrection. You can send a representative who actually represents you. And you can send Liz Cheney home. Back home. 
home to Washington, D.C. And while former President Trump is offering Gates a modicum of support, it is far from enthusiastic. In fact, sources tell CNN that the former president is being advised to stay away from the Gates scandal. Meanwhile, the congressman showing no signs of backing away. He has sent out multiple fundraising appeals based on this scandal. And Wolf, he's expected to reappear in public for the first time on Friday, speaking at a summit that will be held, of course, at Trump National Golf Course in Doral, Florida. Wolf. Ryan Nobles uh, with the latest from Capitol Hill. Thanks very much. Let's get some analysis from our senior legal analyst, Preet Bharara, and our chief political correspondent, Dana Bash. Uh, you know, Preet, uh, you think this is, this is something uh, that an innocent person would typically do, typically behave like this? Ah! Uh, no. <laughs> and the typical innocent person, uh, and the typical guilty person for that matter, doesn't have a close relationship uh, with the president at the time of the United States of America. And it's an example of uh, the culture that was created in the White House, that if you want to pardon, if you're Roger Stone, if you're Michael Flynn, if you're someone who's close to the president, that maybe you could get away with criminal activity, on the federal level at least, and get a, a you know, get out of jail free card for it because you had a relationship to the president. The fact that Matt Gates, according to the New York Times and other sources, was lobbying for this broad, preemptive, sweeping pardon without any particular charges being brought, without any reporting of an investigation even being done, though he might have had some knowledge of it, to me is, is what the lawyers call consciousness of guilt. You know you've done something wrong. You want to get protection for it. Here's a president who's been handing out pardons right and left. Maybe I should get one, too. You know, it's interesting, Dana, because uh, Trump, in his statement, he specifically said uh, Congressman Matt Gates has never asked me for a pardon. Very specifically, he says never asked him. Uh, not that he never asked for a pardon from the White House, from other officials. Uh, carefully chosen words, I suspect. No question. Uh, that was very, very intentional. And, you know, just a reminder that for people who didn't read uh, the New York Times story, which broke this, and, and CNN's subsequent uh, reporting on this very issue, there was no um, reporting specifically that said the the ask went directly to the president uh, it wasn't wasn't clear so thank you the, to the former president for for clearing that up but leaving a very very gaping hole in in the uh notion of gates actually asking i can't wait okay let's hear the gotchis oh i knew it i knew it was coming as soon as she said gaping hole dude people in and around the former president um <sighs> it was definitely confirmation by omission from I was drinking cold brew, yes. Yeah, the way that statement was uh, written. You know, Preet, uh, the New York Times also reports that some Trump associates uh, have theorized uh, that Gates' decision to seek pardons uh, for multiple people may have been a way to disguise his own potential legal exposure. What do you make of that? It's a weird strategy, it seems to me. On the one hand, <clears throat> if it turns out, <clears throat> excuse me, if it turns out that he was trying to get coverage for criminal conduct that he was liable for because of this investigation and the indictment of his um, associate, uh, Joel Greenberg in Florida. Yeah, sure. You bring in some other congressman and you say, you know, there's a group of us who have been um, sort of had witch hunts launched against them vaguely by the public uh, and, and might be by future Democratic administrations. So give us all a pardon. On the other hand, it also made it more remote, the likelihood that even even that White House, even the Trump White House, which was pretty generous with pardons, was going to willy-nilly just sort of pick a group of sitting United States congressmen and give them preemptive blanket Seen pardons without specifics. So, you know, I, I get it, I guess, on, on one level. Uh, on another level, I really, really don't get it. You know, it's interesting, Dana, because uh, Trump may have released this uh, very short I got a pee again. Hold on. little statement on paper. Uh, There's some updates coming in, too, as well. There's a uh, live from the courthouse, Joel Greenberg, an associate of Representative Matt Gates is expected to take a plea in a criminal case, likely requiring half to share what he knows about Gates. Uh, and also on top of that, the Gates office just offered names of women who have signed on to the statement. Uh, the women of Matt Gates basically uh, declaring his innocence. Hold uh, on, I got a pee. His Republican colleagues uh, in Congress are essentially silent right now what does that say to you the sound of that silence is quite deafening uh, because there is a virtually with with notable exceptions jim jordan who is also a staunch uh defender for no matter what goes will go to the to the uh 
nth degree to support uh, President Trump and Marjorie Taylor Greene, for the most part, uh, there has been crickets, except for Kevin McCarthy, the Republican leader, who said that they were going to have a conversation. We don't know if that conversation has ever taken place. And also said that if Matt Gates is is indicted, if there are actual charges uh, brought against him, then he would have to be uh, removed from the Judiciary Committee on which he sits. The one thing I will remind you, Wolf, is that Congress has been on recess since this whole thing exploded. And it is a very different dynamic, a very different atmosphere when these lawmakers, particularly Republicans in leadership, are walking in the hallways, you know, in front of cameras trying to talk about their agenda and their message, and they get questions from reporters. And so my question is whether or not that is going to change the dynamic, also whether more reporting is going to come out that would add to that. Where, where do you think, Preet, uh, this goes from here? Because I suspect that one... Uh... What the fuck are you guys doing, dude? Why are you... Stop sucking dicks, chat. What the fuck? Potential nightmare scenario for Gates is if his uh, associate, who's already been charged, flips, cooperates, tries to get some sort of plea agreement, pleads guilty in hopes of getting a reduced sentence, decides to speak out against his friend, uh, Congressman Gates. Yeah, so there's a lot of speculation about that, and I think it's reasonable speculation. You have a person who has a number of charges that keep getting added to his indictment. He's facing a very substantial prison term if he's convicted at trial or he pleads guilty. And in that situation, as we've learned over the last number of years, the best way to help yourself is to provide substantial assistance about some other person who the federal government might think is a substantial target. And any sitting congressman it takes a, an oath to all. Well, Joel Greenberg is a fucking creepazoid in and of itself. You know what the I mean? Constitution and as a position of trust is such a target. And there are questions about whether or not Matt Gates used public funds to engage in some of this, um, you know, sexual misconduct that's been alleged but not proven. So yeah, I think it's a dire situation for Matt Gates, and I think we'll find out relatively soon if his associate has in fact flipped. Okay, so. Uh, here is the uh, additional Reed. update. Joining me now. So, Paula, what more do we know about this? Erica, this is some potentially bad news for Congressman Matt Gates and his ongoing sex crimes investigation. As you just noted, in court just moments ago, the Justice Department and defense attorneys for one of Gates's closest friends and political allies signaled that that close friend and political ally, Joel Greenberg, dude, is likely this. to strike a plea deal to resolve. I got to show you guys this. Hold on. Look at this, dude. Look at how red my fucking arm is, dude. It's so terrible. Sorry, I just wanted to show you white boy summer. The for dozens a second. of federal criminal counts he is currently facing. That is significant for Congressman Gates because it means that his friend and ally would likely have to provide any evidence of criminal wrongdoing uh, that he is aware of against his friend. Now, it was interesting. They said the government said that they thought that this could all be resolved in a month, but the defense attorney for Mr. Greenberg said, nope, not so fast. And both sides, Erica, acknowledged. It's possible they may not be able to come to a plea deal. It's possible they won't be able to come to any kind of agreement. But right now, Congressman Gates uh, is likely concerned. One of his closest friends and allies uh, will now likely have to cooperate with the government. And it's interesting. The investigation into Congressman Gates actually began with a larger sex trafficking investigation uh, where his close ally, Joel Greenberg, uh, has been implicated. And again, he's facing dozens of criminal counts. So a lot of incentive for him to provide any Thing he knows to the Justice Department. Yep. Okay, so there's a new statement from the women of U.S. Congressman Matt Gates's office defending him. No actual names attributed to the statement, but it was sent from his chief staff, uh, Jillian Wyatt's email. Remember, his uh, main comms director left uh, last week. Gates's office has now offered the names of the women who have signed on to the statement. It's uh, Jillian Lane Wyant, Dawn McArdle, Isabella Belchior, and Allison Thomas. Uh, they're saying after the shocking allegations. Uh, last week of the press, we, the women of Congressman Matt Gates' office, feel morally obligated to speak out during Congressman Gates' time in the office. We've been behind the scenes every step of the way. We've staffed his meetings. We've planned his events. We've traveled them, and we've tracked his schedule. Congressman Gates has always been a principled and morally grounded leader. At no time has any of us uh, experienced or witnessed anything less than the utmost professionalism and respect. No hint of impropriety. No ounce of untruthfulness. Now, of course... Um, woman, man, camera, TV, doesn't fucking matter if you work with Matt Gates, then you're already, uh, you know, halfway there to being a demon henchman 
And uh, understandably, if you're a Republican fucking congress per, uh, congressman's uh, uh, staffer, then you're going to probably work with other uh, uh, Republicans in the future. And this is literally like, you're, this is a bona fide for you. Like, you are building up your resume by coming out and defending Matt Gates like this. Like, you know, so you can go work with another creepy, perverted fucking uh, Republican congressperson. So... Yeah, you know, of course they were going to say this, so congratulations to the women. I mean, that's real feminism right there, by the way. Uh, also, the other reason uh, why uh, they might have felt comfortable is because, you know, they were over the age of 18. Uh, who knows? I'm just saying, like, they might have been over the age of 18, and that's precisely why Matt Gates was not interested uh, in them in the same way. So, 